everyone, thank you so much for watching. So in this video, I wanted to talk about my favorite or my top recommended 2020 grail items. So these are designer items, basic things that I think are really worth buying and adding to your wardrobe. And I've particularly focused on things that I think are classic. They're long-term, they're investment pieces, and there are things that if you buy them now, within a year, two years, maybe even probably even five years, they're not gonna be things that I think are gonna look dated. They're very classic. And this is something that I try and do most of the time when I shop for things. I say as I look behind you and I see a deal book tote, which is a trend item. What can I say? I did it. Anyway, the first item to speak about is this. So I've got three handbags, and one of the most amazing blazers, um, scarves and footwear. And there's just like one of each, but I wanted to do three different bags because I couldn't, decide which one and so i've picked three that i think are the best everything i'm going to show you is from farfetch i'm delighted to say i'm partnering with them on this video you can get 10 percent off this bag and in fact everything i'm going to show you with the exception of something from fendi which is not included in the discount unfortunately but yeah 10 percent off anything anything on the website this bag oh my god can we look at it a minute to open it you move this latch to the side and it pops open, you can see there. The bag's got a top handle, it's got a strap that doesn't detach, but it's, um, you can lengthen it or shorten it. The leather, I think I mentioned, it's exactly like the Chanel caviar leather, only it's more robust. I feel like that leather's quite soft in some ways and rings and stuff scratch it. It's so one thing I've noticed with Yves Saint Laurent leather, it's quite durable, I feel. It's got a pocket on the back the space on the inside is pretty good though. Um, I do like smaller bags, but at the same time, I, I, kind, of, mm, I kind of carry a, quite a bit around with me. So I like a small bag, but I tend to scale down the size of the items that I'm carrying. I'm gonna show you with all of these bags how much you can fit in, just so you can kind of get perspective on it. This was 1,450 pounds. The second bag, and by the way, these bags are bags that I've bought. They haven't gifted them or loaned them to me. They're bags that I really think are worth getting. It's got like a 2020 twist to it, but I feel the overall shape of it is quite classic and quite classic Fendi um, in terms of that baguette shape, but also the price of this is really good. On, so this is all leather on the outside here. This is canvas. You can get a version of this in leather and as well the price is like about a thousand pounds. I've tried to pick bags that are all around about that thousand pounds or less mark. The inside of these Fendi bags are brilliant. So if I can just show you this here, it's lined with suede and it's pretty roomy. I think that this in the evening going out for dinner, going out for lunch, or if you're like me and you can easily work with a small bag, I think this is so nice. This also comes as well with its own box and with its own dust bag. And this is the only item I'm gonna show you that the 10% unfortunately will not work on. But how cute is that? And it's got the strap, the strip down the back. This is the next. I bought this for an absolute steal. I feel like I robbed the store on this. Look at this. I bought this for 225 pounds, it's full leather. I got it in the sale, this is from Coach. I've got so into Coach bags, I think you get so much bag for your money with them. So this is full leather, it actually reminds me of a Gucci bag that I've seen, which I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put a picture in here. This has got the, um, it's got a top handle on it, it's got a chain strap that's detachable, so if you don't wanna use this, you can take it off. And on the handle, it, you can adjust the length. So if you tend to find that you need to adjust the strap length, you can do that on there. On the inside, it's really roomy. So although it looks like quite a small or medium sized bag, the space on the inside is really, really good. It's also lined. Oh, it smells really nice. It's lined with this really soft suede that's in a kind of like purpley tone color, like aubergine. Now I loaded this bag up with everything that I carry and you can see there's still loads of room left in it. I just think for the money, even for the price it was before it was reduced, I love this bag. This as well, the other thing that I really like about Coach and I almost question why is it that it's not a brand that's spoken about more, 
Coach has been going since 1941. So if you're someone who you want to design a bag, but you don't want a new brand, you want something that's been going a long time, that's got a heritage behind it, like Louis Vuitton and Chanel and all the rest of them, but you don't want to spend that crazy money, I think Coach are really worth looking at. Now for a clothing item. And it's something that I've shown you before, but it's um, this Balmain blazer. Now, you know how I said earlier, everything's pink and blue. Well, no, not pink and blue, pink and black. With this blazer, I don't have it in black, but for around two years now, I've really wanted to buy it in black with silver buttons, but I haven't been able to find one. And whenever I have, because I know from time to time, you can buy these with a discount. Whenever I've seen one, I haven't wanted to buy it until I could get a discount on it. And I can tell you already, I'm gonna be using my own coupon code to go and buy this in black after this. So that's why I'm not showing you in black because I don't have it yet. But if you want to get a classic investment item that you will put in your wardrobe now and you can still wear it in the future. And let me tell you, you look a million pounds in this jacket. I've said it before, nothing quite fits the way one of these do. They look so sharp. I've worn this with jeans going out to the shops on the weekend. I've worn it in more smart and formal environments. It goes with everything. I've got two more items. One is a scarf. I don't know why I paused there. One is a scarf, Alexander McQueen. So when it comes to scarves, I'm actually doing a video on this in a few weeks time because I feel that I've got some good experience with scarves in that I've bought some before from like big brands who I won't name yet, but the big, you know, I'll, you'll go and spend money on them and they end up pulling and catching on everything. And you just think I've spent that much money on a scarf. And yet if I'd just gone and bought something that of a lesser price, it would have held together. But I, I know that for a lot of us, if you like designer, it's quite nice to have a designer scarf. Now this is Alexander McQueen and his scarves, particularly like the skull design, have been around for, I wanna say 10 years. That was the first time I remember seeing them and I really, really wanted one, like, you know, the silk scarf version. Well, this, if you want a scarf, you've gotta check this out. Or just check out his scarves. They're really well-priced, but the quality absolutely wipes the floor with Louis Vuitton and, and places like that. The quality of their scarves is so good. This was around about 300 pounds and it's reversible. So there's a pink side and a gray side. As I said, I, I really have got quite into wearing pale pink, but I like to break it up with like black and white actually. Not this top, because there's too much print going on. It's made from, it's got 9% silk and 91% wool. One of the things I really like about Farfetch, by the way, they haven't told me to talk about this, but I feel like this is a really good, reason why I shop from there. And so I wanna share it with you. So Farfetch is kind of almost like a website where boutiques from globally can go and sell things from their shop. And the benefit to that is it's allowed me to buy things that, um, that have been hard to get in the UK. So you might buy this bag and it actually comes to you from like a tiny shop in of like a boutique in Rome down a cobbled street. Or you might buy something else and it's sent to you from like a bigger boutique in Texas or somewhere. Um, I've never paid customs on anything. And I like the variety of things you can buy. I also like that when you buy from any of the items, they eat, they all come to you packed differently like all of the boutiques have their own way of wrapping things up and making them look nice feels more personal like some of the boutiques they're really sweet they write you like a really nice note and they put it in the parcel and they decorate it all lovely and i like that personal touch i was thinking what to do for the final item and i thought well this is about grail items things that i think are worth buying that have got long-term potential and I've done bags, I've done kind of clothes, statement clothes, I've done accessories in the scarves and I wanted to talk about shoes. And there's one pair of shoes that I've had my eye on for about five years and I wanted to try them and I, I decided at this point to get them because I really do think that these are, what's the word, I really do think these are classics 
They've been around for a long time. These are Nicholas Kirkwood. Some of you may remember them because as I say, they've been around for absolutely years. And they are his ankle boots that have got pearls around the bottom here. For the money, I think these are so worth it. I saw a pair of Prada boots the other day that I nearly got and they were the same money and I was actually disgusted because when I took a close look, thank God I saw it before I bought them, but I, this particular pair of Prada boots, they're, they're selling them for like over £850 and they're entirely plastic. The sole, the upper, the inner, the whole thing's plastic and I'm like, don't do that to me. If you're going to sell me plastic shoes, they need to be under £100, otherwise no. These are leather on the inside and outside. The only thing that's synthetic is the sole. Kind of feels like rubber, I want to say. And absolutely worth it. Like these with the Balmain blazer with one of those bags. I just feel like the, I really like that look that the pearls add. They just kind of make it look quite edgy. Okay, so the coupon code, I'm going to put that in here. I'm also going to put it below. Um, I'm also going to put in a pinned comment below this video, I'm going to list all of the brands that this coupon code won't work on. And the brands that it excludes tend to be like Fendi and Gucci and I think like Rolex or something, like some of the jewellery brands anyway, but I have deliberately picked things that are worth buying that I know you can get the 10% off on so hopefully um if there's anything that you've seen here you can be like yes yeah, so i got some extra money off too um remember don't copy and paste in the coupon code because sometimes when you do that your computer adds a space at the beginning or the end and then you go and paste it in and then the website's like i don't recognize this so always type it in it's case sensitive if um farfetch have assured me that on the items that are on the brands that are included, i.e. not in that excluded list, they've assured me that worldwide that coupon will work. And they've said that any of you having an issue, please phone customer services. Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed watching. I hope that the start of your 2020 is going really well as well. Let me know what you think of the items in this video or if there are any brands in future that you'd like me to talk more about that you want to see kind of close-ups of. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.